Today we're going to be translating words into equations. It's similar to translating words into expressions, only a little bit different. It's kind of like English into math. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Here are some helpful translation words. When we're talking about addition, you'll hear the word sum, add, more, or greater. You may also hear greater than. Same with uh, subtraction, you'll hear less than or less. Um, but those are the words for addition. In subtraction, you would use the words different, less, or fewer. When you see the words product, or of sometimes means multiplication, if it's by itself. And double or triple will mean multiplying times two or times three, respectively. Division, when they speak of equal grouping, they're talking about division or a quotient. Quotient will probably be the word that you'll see the most um, to represent division. Let's go ahead and look at the difference between making equations from making just regular statements or, or making um, expressions. The main difference is that when you're making equations, there will be an equal sign. So the word usually used to represent the equal sign is the word is. For example, 3 times 4 is 12. That would be a sentence. And then in math, we would write it out like this, 3 times 4. And the is is the equal sign, 12. That's the main difference between expressions and equations. When we're writing equations, it's going to have an equal sign. And you'll have numbers and variables or a combination of both on either side of that equal sign. So hopefully this sounds a little bit familiar. Let's practice a little bit. Our first sentence is 3 times a number is 15. What I like to do is I like to color code every part of the sentence. So 3 is in blue, times is in red, a number is in purple, and then green and, and brown here is 15. So first of all, we'll say 3. Well, that will give us the number 3. Times is pretty straightforward. That is, it could also say the product of 3 and a number. But it says times, so that means multiplication. A number will be our variable. We'll use the letter n. Is is going to be our equal sign, yep. Yeah. And 15 is going to remain the same, 15. So what we'll end up with is 3 times n is equal to 15. And that can be written simply as 3n is equal to 15. Let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated. This one says double the sum of a number in 3 is the product of 6 and that number. That one sounds a little bit more complicated. We're going to use the same process. We're going to color code everything. In this one, there happens to be a little bit more information. But when we color code all of the information, we should be able to isolate exactly what they're asking for. First off, it says double. When we're asked to double something, that means we'll be multiplying it times 2. So double in red, I'll show you the first bit, is multiplying times 2. We represent that like saying this 2 times, and then we're going to be told what goes inside the parentheses thing. The sum, which is addition, of a number and 3. So the sum of a number and 3 is like saying n plus 3. And we are doing double that. So double all of that. And this is how we write that, 2 times a number and 3. The next part of this sentence, starting with is, is going to be on the other side of the equal sign. All right, so is will be our equal sign. And then on the right-hand side, we will have the product of 6 and a number. And we write the product of 6 and a number. That's, in other words, saying 6 times a number. And we'll simply write that as 6n. So that would be our finished equation. 2 times n plus 3 is equal to 6n. 
Let's look at one more practice question today. Kind of a complicated one as well. But we'll use the same color coding to hopefully make things a little bit um, easier to swallow. The quotient of 24 and a number is 3 more than the quotient of 7 and 7. So here are the different parts. We're talking about the quotient of 24 and a number. We have is 3 more than the quotient of 7 and 7. So the first part of this translation will say 24 divided by n. The quotient of 24 and a number means 24 divided by a number. Quotient means division. So when we say the quotient of 24 and a number, that's how we write it, 24 divided by n. You may also see this um, written in this way. Um, I don't know if that's big enough. Well. But that would be the other way to write that. 24 divided by n is oftentimes written 24 slash n. That's another symbol that they use in computer terms or whatever to mean division. But in our case, we're going to use 24 divided by n. That is the quotient of 24 in a number. Let's move on. Is, that's going to give us our equal sign. Three more than, so three plus. Now when it says three more than, you can also just add three on the end. It really doesn't change the value if you say three plus and then you put parentheses or if you do all of the other stuff and then add three on the end. But it's three more than the quotient of seven and seven. So the quotient of seven and seven is seven divided by seven. I kind of put that all in one color. And it's three more than that. So that is the equation that we would write out there. It's very similar to making, translating words into expressions. The main difference, again, is that we have the equal sign. So some of this was review, which is why we did more complicated questions. If you did not watch the mini lesson on writing sentences from variable expressions, you may want to go check that out. Otherwise, you might be completely confused. And you'll look a little bit like this poor guy. <laughs> but if you've watched the other one, then this is a lot of review. And hopefully it doesn't make you feel like this guy. I hope it's been helpful and have a wonderful day.